The new all-in-one board from Skewworks, the Arm FMB, has a lot of features. So to help show them off, we've created this little demo video. To begin with, we're going to power up the board using some AA batteries. This brings us to the menu screen that helps us select our demos, two of which are being run by interpreted Arduino code. See if you can figure out which ones they are. We'll start off by showing off the battery backed up real time clock. I'm going to set the time here real quick and then I'm going to turn off the power and restart the board. When I go back to the clock you can see that that two hour time change has gone through. Next we're going to browse through the files on our micro SD card which we've mounted. We can see some directories and a file there. We can also use data from our sensors to play little games. Such as this one right here, which moves the ball through a maze. We can also visualize each of our buttons through the CME demo. And we can look at our add-on ports. The ARM FMBU has three add-on ports which are Gadgeteer compatible. We're going to look at socket number two, which has analog capabilities. I'm going to plug in this Gadgeteer joystick and start the joystick add-on demo. The red dot displays the position of the joystick. And our user LED is activated when we press the joystick's button. The ARM FMBUs can also talk to each other. And they're very power conservative. To show off just how much, I'm going to hook up a second and I'm not going to give it any battery power whatsoever. Now when I turn on the first device, it'll power the second one as well. And here we have a little knock-knock demo program running. When you press the button on one, LED, on one board, knock-knock appears on the other. And when you press the button on that one, who's there appears on the first board. The ARM FMBU is ready to go and we're currently launching a Kickstarter campaign to try and fund it. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you will consider backing us. Thanks.